morning. I'm Mrs. Lorna G. Del Rosario. I'm a mother of two, two kids, one seven-year-old boy and one ten-year-old girl. I'm a wife and I am a teacher in Philippine International English School. I have four classes which are in different levels. I have grade three, grade eight, grade ten, and grade eleven classes. So, to sum up, I, I prepare four lesson plans in a week, and besides that, I have my modular education or studies, which uh, I used to attend to every night after I teach my children. <laughs> So, how was your day today so far? Okay, so today is Thursday, right? Yes. So, nothing unusual happened today. Uh, as usual, I have to attend to my four classes. Mm -hmm. And then, something that something unusual that happened today is that someone was following me. I had a paparazzi today. <laughs> <laughs> What are the things that you do after you go home from school? What are your usual routines? Okay, since we're talking about Thursday, um, very, a very little difference of my routine uh, uh, takes place from Sundays until Wednesdays. Usually, when we get home, of course, since in, my, in our mind, there's a little psychological uh, effect, just like, oh, Anyway, it's Friday on the following day, there's no school, so we have a little time to rest. But the usual thing is that I have to still prepare lunch for my kids. I'm gonna cook ang padaya because it's my favorite. So, lalagyan ko siya. Nagaisa ang padaya with it. And for my kids, gusto nila yan, baby. We have bacon there. Apples, fish balls. We heard that you are taking up modular studies at the moment, is that correct? Why did you take your education further? Okay, um, 
actually that question surprised me because I'm pretty sure that information did not come from me. I don't know from who you know that because I'm a private person. I don't tell anything which I do out of uh, school, school things. But let's say um, the information is right. So this modular studies is um, professionally for, for, for me for professional growth and professional advancement at the same time because you know life is an education it's a continuous education so i believe that there's something uh, out there which I, I still have to learn as an educator How have you managed to juggle this additional task while being a mother of two children, a loving wife, and a second mother to your students? I admit that it's not easy. The level of studies that uh, I have right now is much harder than what I had before. I have to divide my time to spend the time for, to my children, I, to, to tutor them or to teach them and then do the household chores and at the same time at night I have to see what I have to read, prepare what I have to teach my students the following day and then here's another studies that I, I, I am in right now so most of the time I have to sleep late at night What was the most memorable moments that the students had personally done for you? Okay, so when we say personal, is it within the school or outside school? Within the school. Within the school, yes. okay. So personal. You know, um, we become happy, or say personally I become happy, or I feel happy if students give us surprises, okay? So our happiness is already immeasurable that time but there was still this uh, uh, incident just to share to you it's more personal to me when outside the school for example um, students still recognize you or call you even um, there are some other people around so it's like it's a it's it, it is a touch to the heart when they say that oh Mom, it's like when they greet you like that, it's like something very pleasing to, not to the ears, but to our heart. There was one time in the Philippines, I remember my, one of my maybe students, one of my, one of my students, he said he was my student. Mm -hmm. Then he saw me, she greeted me, and then um, she said, Mom, good morning, how are you? So, um, she told me, and then I said, I just smiled because I don't remember the face anymore. Because you know, uh, since I've been teaching for um, almost 17 years, so I maybe I forgot the faces of some of my students mm -hmm. already. And then she uh, she just like felt a little maybe sad because he said, "Mom, you don't remember me anymore. I was your student." And then. I was the one who was embarrassed because I don't remember the face anymore. But said, no, of course I remember you. So I just said, how are you? <laughs> so uh, actually that is something very personal to me because um, when, when you touch people's lives or students' hearts, they can't forget you. you. We may have forgotten their faces, but through the way or our everyday encounter, they remember you in your everyday life. Do you have any word of encouragement to your students who want to be a teacher? Okay. Um, for those of you who wanted to be a, an educator or a teacher in the future, um, I just wanted to say that there's no much investment in teaching. Um, however, um, if you really want to be a teacher, or a mentor, or an, an educator, um, this is not business. So we have to think that um, 
our investment is our students and then the return of investment is that when they succeed in life and they come to you and greet you and say thank you my teacher and then that is the return of investment it's not money or any material thing but it's the it's the time we spent with them and touching their hearts and lives that is our return of investment in better in business when we say return of investment so most probably the capital has grown there is earnings but in education if you want to be a teacher um, we don't count the money we count memories we count time we count future because as, as we said um, yes you are an educator you are a teacher but she made all the professions in the world teachers made the doctors teachers made engineers teachers made architects teachers made pilots teachers made lawyers so that's what we hold. We hold we hold you in our hearts, and the word of uh, most words of encouragement I can uh, that I can say is that what you need here is most uh, is more on dedication and the heart and the passion to teach, passion for children and passion for knowledge. That's it. Thank you, Mom.